Hello. Um, so for a little bit of um, bedtime reading, I read uh, Little Red Riding Hood by Charles Perrault. Uh, Charles Perrault is a 17th century uh, French writer, um, primarily known for writing in the genre of fairy tales, um, the same way that like Fontaine or Aesop uh, are known for um, fables. So Perrault also wrote, I mean, a, lo a lot of famous Cinderella, Bluebeard, Little Thumbling, uh, Sleeping Beauty, uh, Puss in Boots, a ha handful of very well-known uh, stories. So Little Red Riding Hood, <coughs> it's, uh, I don't know, two pages, two and a half pages long, and um, it's a little girl, very pretty. Her mother uh, makes her um, a red hood that she wears. Um, and gives her some biscuits to take to her grandmother. And so she's wearing her red riding hood and she goes off and there's a wolf in the village. And it's uh, an anthropomorphic wolf. It's a talking wolf. And uh, the wolf goes over and says, where are you going? And naively, uh, Little Red Riding Hood tells the wolf that she's going to visit her grandmother and that uh, it's a little bit far away. And the wolf says, well, I'll meet you there. I'll take one path and you can take the other path. And uh, Little Red Riding Hood says, okay. So the wolf takes the shorter path and he races, he runs to get to grandmother's house. Little Red Riding Hood takes the longer path and dawdles. She stops to play with butterflies and gather nuts. Um, the wolf arrives at grandmother's house first, um, knocks on the door, it says tick tock. The grandmother uh, lets the wolf in unknowingly because the wolf pretends to be Little Red Riding Hood and I don't really know what I, what I had expected but it's relatively graphic in the sense that the wolf just goes in and immediately eats her. So then the wolf gets in bed, Little Red Riding Hood arrives later, uh, knocks on the door, the wolf uh, tells her to come in. It has the famous lines um, where uh, Little Red Riding Hood says, What big arms you have, grandmother, the better to hug you with, my child. What big legs you have, grandmother, the better to run with, my child. And it goes on and on. What big teeth you have, grandmother, the better to eat you with. And upon saying these words, the wicked wolf pounced on Little Red Riding Hood and ate her up. So, there's a, a moral at the end. The wolf obviously um, is a predator, and um, the story is a, a lot of these fairy tales and fables are cautionary tales. They're ch trying to teach um, children um, life lessons, um, basically to keep them alive. Um, and it was very entertaining um, and straightforward. I mean, really punchy. Um, so uh, that's it. Charles Perrault. Uh, has a handful of these really great stories. Um, recommend to anyone that likes the movies and w wants to re read the original source material. I'm reading it translated by Jack Zipes, but um, 
anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Um, please leave some comments if you'd like. Uh, and good night.